What's good, everybody? It's your boy Xavier Kicks. I combine all of my custom shoot videos of 2023 and I put them all together in one video. I need y'all, you right there, to vote what's your favorite custom. I'm actually working on some brand new, fresh content that is on the way, but I need y'all to watch this whole video and vote down below. Let's get it. Custom, we're gonna be mostly doing airbrushing today. I actually started off with this Angelus yellow for the bottom. And basically I'm gonna do a bunch of different colors and we're gonna make a really cool custom today. When you're airbrushing, make sure to really, really take your time and do very, very light coats, man. You gotta take your time. Okay, so the next color is we're actually gonna do like a darker yellow and then we're gonna actually layer that over top, actually blending the, the yellow, the brighter yellow and like the darker yellow. You can't really see it on camera though, but that's what I'm doing, fading them in between each other. Okay, so the next color we're doing is actually orange. So we're fading all the yellows into the orange. If you have an idea of what I'm doing, make sure to put that right now in the comment section below just to see if you're right. All right, so we got the yellow, now we got the orange. Basically, all I'm doing is just kind of fading them in between each other, and I'm just going around the whole shoe, airbrushing the orange. I know some of y'all guessed it, so the next color is actually a red. We're actually doing a red over top of the orange, so we fading all these colors together, and I can tell you this right now, this is actually looking really cool so far. Okay, so this last color is this Neon Paradise Pink, and I think this is a really good touch to add at the top of the shoe. Um, all the colors are fading in together. As you know it now, you guys, I am doing like a sunset Miami Beach type of theme custom because, man, I love Miami. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like so far as me doing the colors and trying to fade them in. Now, this is the thing that I have to do, as you see in some parts, that they're not really faded in correctly. So basically what I'm gonna do is just go in and just try to fade them all together. Just go in, take some colors out, and then just try to just blend them all together. Okay, so after we have finished fading all the colors in like correctly, now basically what I'm doing is I'm actually about to freehand. Like I'm actually about to freehand a city, right? Cause you can't have a sunset without the city. You can't have a sunset without having Miami, the city on there, right? So that's what basically what I'm doing. So I'm actually freehand. I actually could took my Posca mark out, but I kind of want to challenge myself just a little bit and just to just do a freehand with just, uh, paint and a paintbrush this is actually a small paintbrush that you can find at your local arts and craft stores make sure you get like the fine detail ones um i was actually looking for a smaller one but i didn't have it so i'm just trying to be real steady and just have a steady hand with this and just just mapping out like the city in the background okay so after we do the outline now it's actually time to fill this in with angela's flat black that's basically what I'm using. So I'm just taking my brush. And I actually could have used a different, a bigger brush to speed up this process a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this is actually coming out really cool. Um, to be able to freehand something like this, is it's not that difficult. You just have to have like a steady hand, basically, when you're doing this. Because it's it, it can you can honestly mess up. And I've messed up in the past. I'm just going to keep it honest with y'all. I've messed up in the past with a whole bunch of different customs. But the more customs I do kind of the better I've gotten with it. And then just having a steady hand in general, like that helped out too. So practice actually makes perfect. You know that cliche thing everybody says, but it actually does. Okay, so basically, like I said, filling this in. And then um, after this, we're gonna add a couple more details to the shoe as well, just to bring that whole Miami theme all the way together. Okay, so the next details we're gonna add is actually some palm trees. You got it, it's not Miami, a custom, unless you add some palm trees. We can all agree to agree that you gotta add palm trees to the custom, all right? So basically what I'm doing is I'm drawing like a straight line up like for the palm tree and then I'm actually like making like the branches come like, 
like to the left to the right um i actually had to watch a tutorial for this because i really didn't know how to do it and it's it's like a little technique you have you have to do it's really a little tedious but um it, it looks good though you know what i'm saying so that's basically what we're doing we adding palm trees to the customs to tie it all the way together and then it honestly should be done after that Okay, so I know a lot of people ask me, so I actually use a satin finish, Creelon satin finish on shoes. And what I do is basically spray a couple coats on there and then the paint should be good to go on the shoes. Most of their jerseys is red, so that's what I went with. I went with, you know, red for most of the shoe. All right, so I'm actually doing very, very light coats. Even though I sped it up, you guys, make sure you are doing light coats when you are painting shoes, all right? I cannot emphasize this enough i know i just did a dramatic pause there emphasize yes make sure you take your time make sure you do light coats i am doing this red most around the whole shoe basically somebody else yeah me call the song as i'm a sleep show Okay, so it's looking so good so far. Looking so good so far. I don't know what I just said. So now we got to apply the flat black. I got to put the black on the shoe. Okay, so we're about to do that right now, and it's coming together. I say it's looking pretty good already. Right, you know what I'm saying? Need some more light right here. I say it's looking good pretty. Hard. I mean, bro, what am I saying? Okay, so the next color I'm using is Angelus Flat Black. All right, so I'm actually gonna be painting some of the parts of the shoe black. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is paint around the bulldog. So we're gonna actually paint the bulldog right after this, but I'm painting around it just because it's gonna all come together. It's gonna all make sense, you guys. You just gotta keep watching the video. All right, keep watching the video. All right, so now we actually paint the bulldog. I actually mix up some gray on the side, and as you can see, all I'm doing is basically just coloring in the sketch. You guys, this actually is one of my favorite like designs. You know, I've done a dragon, I've done this, I've done that, but a bulldog is pretty cool. This is my first time ever really drawing a bulldog and ever painting. All right, I sped it up a lot due to the fact that I had to do some stuff off camera because man, this detail work is crazy, all right, that I, that I had to do. But as you can see, the dog is really coming together. The bulldog is really coming all the way together. And you guys, this actually looks really, really good. We just finished Georgia shoes. Now it's time for TCU's. Let's get it. No, whoa, I messed that up. Okay, so we're basically gonna be doing the same steps we did with the other shoe. So basically what we have to do is we have to prep the shoe. We gotta take the laces out. We gotta acetone the shoe. We gotta take the factory finish off. A lot of people do not realize this factory finish on the shoes. All right, you have to take them, you have to take it off. All right, now I'm basically like cutting off the swoosh. You gotta take the swoosh out of there. You know what I'm saying? We don't need the swoosh, not with this custom. So we got Georgia logo, but now it's the TCU, all right? TCU logo, um, TCU logo. Let's see, let's see. I saw that their mascot or their, like, their logo is a horned frog. I've never really seen a horned frog before ever. So this is my first time seeing it, right? Uh, you guys, I don't know. Can I put a horned frog on a shoe? I think so, but I, I don't know. Like, I know I can, but am I gonna go with this? Honestly, I really don't know which horned frog logo I'm gonna go with. Of course, I'm gonna have a TCU on there, but yo, horned frog, this is different. I think I could draw this though and put him on there. I, I, I know for a fact I can. I just have to draw it out. Uh. I, you know what? We're gonna open a new image, a new tab. We're gonna, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with the Horn Frog logo. I'm with it, let's do it. I mean, yeah, I mean, dang, what am I saying? Let's get it. 
Okay, so just like the Georgia Bulldog, I actually did this horn frog off camera. I sketched it and it, it's, it's gonna come out pretty dope. I believe it, all right? So the first color I'm using is purple. Angela's Great Five. And basically I'm doing light coats, just like I did with the Georgia shoe. And make sure y'all do light coats, for real. I'm being, I'm being, I'm being serious. Only if y'all can see the face I'm making right now. Make sure to take your time and do light coats, even though I sped this up. Because honestly, this is gonna take several coats, even about three to four. You see how when I'm painting, it has, it has some of that like ashy look well not ashy look but mostly like it's not done so basically you have to keep painting over the same spot over and over and over and over again and then take a heat dryer or a blow dryer and then just basically you know make them dry even faster between the coats okay so the next color i use is angela's flat black i'm doing some of the parts black but most of the shoe is going to be like white and purple i just want to add a little bit of hints of black in there okay okay so nobody do not make fun of my horn frog sketch all right don't make fun of it i know i know i know i know but i'm i tried you know so but it's still gonna come together just because i have 100% confidence within myself. This is going to still look pretty good. All right. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking my paintbrush and I'm outlining the horn frog purple because I saw like on the picture that it's outlined purple. Then I'm gonna go from there and I'm gonna just keep doing little details as I go. Okay, so I thought we were done, but we're missing like the actual university logos on the shoe, right? So I'm gonna take out my Cree Cut machine. I don't know where it at. Then we're gonna do the logos and then that's gonna really wrap up the whole custom. So let's get to it. So we about to go to Cree Cut. I think I'm pronouncing that. Cree Cut, a Cree Cut, a Cree Cut. I don't know. So we're going in here and basically what we're gonna do is we gotta pull up the designs. Not pull up design, we gotta get the logos. So we're gonna go new window, uh, let's get it, Georgia logo, pull our logo, let's go, let's go. This, 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 is, this is my process, this is what I usually do, you guys. So I'll go here, uh, open new image, and tap, boom, boom, save as. I'm gonna just put GA logo, put it right there, boom. Then I'm gonna go TCU logo. Look, if you haven't invested into a Cree Cut, invest in one, do it, ASAP. All right, open image, new tab. We'll save that image as TCU logo. All right, boom. We got those two logos. We're gonna go to Cree Cut. Then we're about to go to new project. I don't know where I just went file. New project, okay. New project, new project. <laughs> like, what's up? I ain't loaded. Okay, we're gonna go upload. Come on, come on, come on machine. We, we, we on due time right now. Upload image, upload. Downloads, GA logo, first one, complex, always do complex. All right, remove the background, take it, gone, don't want it. All right, boom, so that's what we got. All right, continue, print then cut image, go right there, go right there, add canvas, but add the canvas. I was gonna say, let's upload the other one too, but I, I'll do that in a minute. So we got this right here, Georgia logo. Then we got upload TCUs. I know it's a little process, but y'all work with me now. Stay here, work with me, y'all seeing everything, all right? Complex. That's not really that sharp, but it, it shouldn't matter. Yeah, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter anyway. Uh, print and cut image. All right, upload. Booyah, booyah. Okay, after this, now we're gonna cut it. We're gonna make it. This right here, got the machine, make it. Yep. Let's go. Yep, got this right here. Boom right here, continue. And then the magic happens, let's go. Okay, so now we got the stencils. I actually had to go back and redo it just because I needed this outer part of the like the Georgia logo. So basically with this, all I'm doing is painting within this line. I know you guys, I could have airbrushed, I could have, but this is the thing. Honestly, airbrushing would have been a little bit too much and I don't think my airbrush works at the moment, but <laughs> it'll be okay, I'll go get it. Another one and I'm always getting more airbrush guns at this point. So basically I added that, now I'm about to add the G in there and i know see this is the only thing about painting within stencils and all my professional like shoe customizer painters will know like the paint actually can like bleed over but if it does i will fix it i will try to fix it i just didn't want to airbrush it just due to the fact these are small stencils not a lot of work and i can just kind of get it done
okay so the next thing we're gonna do is tcu's logo all right so i got tcu stencil and basically i'm gonna do the same thing i did for the georgia one. i'm actually gonna paint within this i could have airbrushed i know but then i would have tape around it then i would have i just think it was too much so i just paint it within the stencil and then i'm gonna clean it up afterwards because most of the times when you're painting within stencil it bleeds over if i add a little small small details really make up the custom so i wanted to paint this air purple as well because you got to remember you have to do light coats it don't matter if you what you're doing light coats on custom shoes all right so i'm gonna be honest too this airbrush will give me some trouble <laughs> i mean i'm gonna have to reevaluate our relationship with this airbrush because people know if you are og subscriber if you are really a subscriber to xavier kicks you know that me and this airbrush have been going back and forth forever and honestly our relationship is complicated it's maybe complicated to the fact that i have to get another airbrush <laughs> and i usually get my airbrushes from hobby lobby so if michaels if you don't want to sponsor me it's okay because hobby lobby i think they will but look you guys this is so cool after the first coat look how it comes out yo it comes out crazy look at that that's insane solar color changing is insane okay but we're still not done because we have to do more coats especially after drying so that's what we're doing and it's like yo it's like it's changing because i think it's like colder so when it's colder go red and when it's hotter it goes like this like line and that's sick that that's real sick and basically all I'm doing is just applying more coats and more coats and more coats over top of the shoe just so we can have a good base of this solar color change on the shoe. All right, guys, if you don't try this at home, try it. If you're doing this from home, you guys, I would recommend to do at least four to five coats, honestly. And then also to look up the ratio from powder to like neutral paint to thinner. OK, because I sort of messed up, but it's like an eyeball test. All right. So moving on from that and we're using this flat black because the flat black is going to be cool when we add that onto the shoe. I don't know what just happened, but we are steadily looking. I think what I want to do was to check to see did i do enough coats but it, it came out great okay so from there on we are going to be actually painting the swoosh i think to add this little part it's going to be tough you know to give it a little bit of something it could add it i could add a white but i want to win with black so i think black looks cool you know especially like whoo see man that's awesome i just took a pause because that is so cool now we're doing the other side all right and i'm very i'm using like a more like detail brush because i don't want to get this black nowhere on the color change because that will honestly ruin the whole custom it will ruin it so that's it you know and we're about to finish this up and then we're about to apply some finisher a lot of people ask about finisher i use satin finish and basic look at it. look at yo <laughs> this is cool it is it's cool there's some cool stuff all right but that's it and look at that tape job man crazy good Okay, you guys, I am excited. I'm excited to try out these new markers, but before we do that, we have to make sure we take the laces out of the shoes. We cannot do this custom with the laces in the shoes, so we gotta make sure to get them out of there now, ASAP. Let's go. Okay, y'all already know the next step is we have to prep the leather. That means we have to acetone the shoe. And basically all acetone does is it takes the factory finish off the shoe. I know a lot of people still ask me about that. And I just want to let y'all know that factory finish is on these shoes. You guys, you may not see it. It's a clear coat, but yes, you got to take the factory finish off the shoes. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah. Okay, you guys, so after we prep the shoe, now it's time. It's time to really experiment with these markers. I just want to give a huge shout out to Silent Art Company for sending over these brand new chalk markers. I know, I know these are very different, but they are very, very cool. What's included in this pack that they sent over is a bunch of different colors. So you got purple, orange, red, pink, blue, a yellow, and a white. And I think these colors are great. Okay, so these markers are like, they're like medium size and they have a really good tip at the end. But the cool thing about I like about these markers is that you can change the tips. Like it can go from round and then it can go to like a more like sharper, like chisel type tip. And I think that's really, really cool. Okay, so the first step you wanna do is you want to shake the marker up. You have to shake the marker. The second step you wanna do is basically you wanna activate the paint within the marker. So what you have to do is basically take like a sketchbook or base what I'm doing and basically press down. You know, you have to shake, you have to press down and then the paint should come. As you see now, I sped up the clip a little bit because it took a little minute, but the paint has came out and look, it looks really great. It's a good neon orange. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is basically is I'm going to paint the inside right here with this orange. I got a custom in mind and I think it's gonna come out really, really dope. All right, you guys, now I can tell you one thing about using this marker is that it really feels all the way, like, you know how you paint with some markers and then like it doesn't like the paint doesn't seem like it's really like filling in completely. Well, I can tell you that Silent Arts markers, these chalk markers, they are filling in. And then the, another good thing is you can change the tip. You know, I just changed the tip just to get around these like hard places with the round tip. That's the cool thing I love about these markers. Okay, so if you're using these markers on shoes, if you wanna really speed up the drying process, use a blow dryer or a heat gun. The markers really dry up pretty fast, but if you wanna speed it up, you use a blow dryer or heat gun. Okay, so after we dried it off, now we gotta do the other side. And I could tell y'all this right now, the change, the tips from like the round to like the other one, it really helps doing customs on shoes because the round tip is hard to get certain parts of the shoe. Okay, so the next color we got is this blue. And all we gotta do is basically do the same thing we did with the orange, shake it up and then press down and then it activates, all right? So for this blue, I got like a little, you know, a little design up my sleeve. I'm basically, I'm gonna have to draw like some circles here. And I can tell y'all what, this paint from the chalk marker is bonding really well to the shoe. Like it's bonding really well. That's why I said, I really am digging these markers right here. And I really want y'all to give it a try. And I know it's a sponsor and this and that, but I really want y'all to give these markers a try because I really like it. And I promise y'all, I wouldn't tell y'all nothing wrong. Come on now. Y'all know me, Xavier Kicks. I wouldn't tell y'all nothing wrong, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. Basically, I'm drawing like bubbles, like around the front. It's a different design I've never done before. And honestly, I think it's gonna come out dope. So a tip I want to give out, like when you are painting with these markers, yeah, it does does a good job. Like it does a great job with the first coat, but make sure you go back in and like go back over the same part you paint or you draw just to give it that nice, good look, you know, because you really want, even painting anything, you have to do multiple coats. But with these markers, I said, if you do two good ones, you're fine. <laughs> Okay, so after the blue, we got this like nice bright neon, like a highlighter yellow. And I'm feeling this color. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the colors that came with this pack. Silent Art did its thing because these colors are very vibrant. I mean, they're very, I, I like them. They stand out. You know what I'm saying? Like these neon colors. <laughs> So I decided to basically do like most of this whole shoe with this neon like yellow. I think it's gonna be dope. I think this is the color scheme of this neon yellow, orange and that blue. I think this is gonna look really, really good. So yeah, basically I'm just doing the whole shoe. One thing I would say though about the Silent Art markers, if they come out with like a jumbo pack, oh, I'm getting it. <laughs> Silent Art, if you come out with a jumbo pack of 
like these markers i'm buying them most definitely because you know for like projects like these if they if it had like a bigger marker with like a bigger tip this would have been a little more like easier you know i would say so and, and you know that this is just like my honest opinion about the markers but they really do paint well though i really would say that like how it just basically covered that whole thing and i'm gonna do this part with it too as well and you guys like this custom i tell you it's gonna be it's gonna be okay you know what i'm saying it's gonna be all right it's gonna be you know what it's gonna be fine <laughs> this up and then I got one more color I'm gonna do okay so we got this pink marker here and basically we gotta do all the same stuff like we have to shake it up we have to test it out basically this pink marker right here is going what's gonna really make the custom come all together and like I said, I'm using actually using for this, I'm using like the round tip because of this part is easier to like customize with the round tip than the other tip. And this pink right here is gonna really what's gonna make pull this custom all together. This is a very different design. I know people want to see little different and cool designs, but these markers I had to try something new. You know, like I like I keep saying, silent art did its thing when it made these markers. Chalk markers, like those are really, really good. You know what I'm saying? something in like the material like the the markers in itself some some type of material in the market itself it helps blend with shoes way better you know than other markers out there and that's all i'm gonna say about that so um we're gonna do like a little design basically like you know we got a um we got the dots with the blue but now it's basically like i'm gonna do like this drawing with like the pink marker so it looked like i kind of like drew it on it's very cool when I thought of the idea, so I had to put it on the shoe. Okay, so basically this is almost done. This little like drawing design is almost done. I have for this like to go over another color with the color. You are gonna have to do like two coats, you know what I'm saying? Just so you you wanna make the color very vibrant. Okay, last but not least, we gotta apply a finisher. So I'm using this Creelon satin finish. And basically this finisher is gonna hold the marker within the shoes, okay? It's gonna make the custom complete. You have to make sure you do a finisher after you paint with these markers, okay? Peace, let's go! Okay, you guys, so the first thing I'm customizing is these shoes, and they're gonna be based off the character Legendary Chasa Reaper. I think Reaper's new skin, Chasa, looks amazing in the game. I love the design. So we are basing the whole custom off the new Legendary skin. So the first thing I have to do, you guys, is I have to airbrush this part gold, because basically this part is gonna be his weapon. For airbrushing, we have to make sure we do very, very light coats. We have to keep this looking very clean. Okay, so the next step I wanted to do was add these designs to the front. If you look at Chaucer Reaper's skin, he has some cool designs on his weapon. So I wanted to incorporate the same thing here. One of the goals is to add as much detail as we can, you guys. We want to make these shoes look almost exactly like legendary Chaucer Reaper's skin. Okay, so after we lay that down, basically I'm, what I'm doing is airbrushing over it gray because most of his weapon is like a darker gray, but then it has some hints of gold. So I basically I want to do the same thing here. Okay, so after I've done multiple coats of gray, now it's time to finally remove the stencils. We have to make sure we do this very slowly, but these are coming out really, really great, you guys. This was the exact design I had in my mind to put on top of the shoes. So the next design I'm adding is the Overwatch logo onto the shoes. It's only right if we add Overwatch onto the shoes and all of Reaper's design. Okay, so the next step is we're doing the Lotus Flower emblem from his back and we put it on the toe part of the shoe. So basically what I'm doing now is airbrushing this top part gold. Always, always have to make sure we're doing multiple coats, whatever color we're airbrushing, we have to do it. Oh, 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 
Okay, so the next step is I have to airbrush the toe part black. Basically, I am airbrushing over the gold black due to when you take off the stencil, it's going to leave that metallic gold looking flower and I think that's gonna look so good. Okay, so after airbrushing it black, now it's time to take the stencils off to reveal the lotus flower design. So after removing the tape, the next design is Reaper's face. I wanted to add his face to the shoe because I think that would look awesome. So basically what I did was I sketched Reaper's face off camera and now I'm painting it gray and we're gonna add some details to it right now. Okay, so after doing that design, if you look at legendary Chasa Reaper skin, it has some hints of blue in there, so I wanted to add that right here on, on the shoe. So the next step I'm doing is I'm airbrushing the whole midsole black. I didn't want to leave any parts white onto the shoe because if you look at the Reaper skin, it's mostly dark colors. As I'm airbrushing, I am doing very, very light coats, you guys. I am taking my heat gun in between the coats and basically I am speeding up the drying process. I think after doing the midsole black, it's only right but to add some more black onto the shoe. So I wanted to paint the tongue black. After painting the tongue black, I wanted to add another color here. So basically, I'm adding this darker red burgundy color right here on the shoe. Last but not least, I wanted to paint the inside of the shoe black due to the fact that it's no white on the skin. So I wanted to add this and this is going to bring it all the way together. Okay, so we got the first shoe wrapped up. Now we gotta do the second one and make sure I'm doing all the steps I did on the first shoe onto this shoe. So basically I have to paint it gold, lay down the stencils, paint it gray, lay all the detail down and make sure that this comes out as clean as we did for the first. 